Welcome. My new Monday. Do you like my new sweater? Tell me in the comments. Um, yeah, where I will talk today. Yes. That not anything always looks the way it be in your eyes. Sometimes things look a lot different than you on the first moment think. Sometimes things are hold out of context. Because of the popular opinions about some stuff. For example, with uh, being tough, actually. Be what you can say be the definition of be a man or a woman. If you ask me, if you are say that you are a masculine person, um, in a positive way. Not by hammer, because uh, masculinity, which is actually toxic masculinity, this the hierarchical system most Western societies are, and also Arab societies are built on. The idea that men are better than war, and that men should always be um, protected over. And for example, in Germany. In 19th century, that women, when they are married to their husband, actually become property of their husband. A true respectable man, a true monst man, is somebody who actually cares about opera. Is so, not somebody who is afraid to show his emotions when he needs it. It's not somebody who is afraid for standing up against his bodies if their bodies do something wrong. It's not a pushover man who say, oh, I like uh, this kind of stuff just because all men like it in my country. No, they think for themselves. They are not a tool of their social clown. There are and inspiring. They are not a sexist misogynist. They are not an animal abusing hunter. Hunters are cowards. Very big cowards with mental illness. Also, if you ask me, because there must be a, a something, something like a social dis disability or there must be sociopathic or uh, sadistic to do such a thing think about it hunting a living creature that don't want to die for pleasure for the thrill of the kill bloodlust and dominance selfishness and arrogance Just like Ted Bundy or the Zodiac Killer. He did say once that killing animals was not fun for him anymore and he wants to have a more dangerous kill because man is the most dangerous animal. Mankind. This species we are belong to. Man is the old English word for our species. Before the 50th century Human and, human and humane were actually just words used as an argument of that somebody was kind, somebody was gentle, somebody was uh, compassionful and decent. Later on, 
in the 19, 18th or 19th century. It started to be used as an argument for our species instead of uh, that some creature was more civilized or gentle than another. Slaves were not called humans, they were called bondmen, savages. Holocan, serfs, and many more words like that, but never humans. Before there, it gets the rise. So, the problem is that most people are not rational. Most people are not thinking for themselves. That are not have learned to be an independent thinker. That are thinking in a group mentality and group mob mentality. Whites in America were afraid that when blacks did get a right in society and be treated equal, their privilege was starting apart and their will life be less fair and society collapsed. Man, in the United States, we were afraid that if women did get their equal rights in society, society collapsed and their life be, will be feared less and everything will be disastrous. Then you have heterosexuals who are afraid that when homosexuals are actually be treated equally and not being seen as second class citizens anymore, their lives be less feral and society collapsed and anything is terrible. Nah. Carnists are afraid. Non-vegans are afraid that when animals get their equal rights in society, they're being not viewed anymore like commodities. Their lives will be devalued and they will be considered nothing and the society collapse. Because those people have cognitive dissonance. If you look around history, that woman did get her rights in society, did not let the society collapse and that they don't feel any more like commodities, was also, did also not let society collapse. In the United States, I have to break it for you, the only people who did have it good in the past were white, upper class, land owning, slave owning men. The slur or the slogan actually from um, that um, make America great again. Are you fucking nuts? The only people that have it get that have it ever have good in the United States, just like I have to say, are where white upper class slave owning men, natives, homosexuals, women, and many other groups were convenient excluded from the first. Bill of Rights of the United States. Get your reality check, people. Learn some about your own history. I bet I know more about the history of the United States than most people living in the United States. What a shitty educational system do you have? Yes, I insult you. Are you going to call me a snowflake? By the way, with a stupid insult. Snowflakes are, more, quite frankly, beautiful. They are, um, have such beautiful patterns. The only thing they have in common with slave owners in the United States or white supremacists is that they are white. Otherwise, I say you, they have nothing in common. Learn to use some more original curse words.
So, if you want to be a true uh, civilized man or woman, go vegan. Stand up for what we write. Stand up against systematic oppression. Be a person of viral. Is that of a person? I'll have success on the short and wrong, but being in the later years, if society evolves between lying and devil. The history books will show you like a devil if you are not going vegan. Because Quite frankly, you all you non-vegans will not win this fight. Sadly, the true passed not overnight. But if if uh, our species is allowed to evolve uh, survive for a couple of hundred years more, then the society will look down on history and think. With a big assholes were the were our ancestors. That's just three percent of the population was um, vegan in the, in uh, the United States when there were everywhere facts about how terrible animal agriculture was for the environment, to the climate, to and also to have our thing in existence. And those people were still making stupid and asinine, obnoxious excuses. True, all true past Tristatious people. Stop with being uh, triggered. Because you have no right to be triggered. Because you are the perpetrator. I speak up for the victims. The animals are the victims. I have a right to be triggered because you are responsible for it. And the animals have a right to be triggered. You not. Just like a pedophile have no right to be triggered when somebody calls them out on his shit. Just like a racist, sexist, Misogynists have not the right to be triggered when somebody calls them out on the stupid shit. Learn your privilege. Learn your privilege. First, mocked and ridiculed. People like to make fun of things they don't understand most of the time. Specifically when I just about to be kind to somebody else. Second, it is widely opposed. People start to understand that there have to come a change. But people are unwilling to change and are going to believe absurdities because they want to hear good things about their bad habits. And if people want to hear good things about their bad habits, like most of them do, they will believe absurdities and commit atrocities. Then, you have the last state. The last state of acceptance of the truth is when people actually stop making excuses, rip off their blinders, and look around 